Well, hello, Copper Town friends. Welcome back to another live right quick. It's just me right now. Mama has fried those apples, and she's in there doing something else, and I'm going to make us some quick supper. Going to do a little shepherd's pie. Now, I'm sure there's plenty of recipes for this. This is just our little quick way of using some leftovers, basically. So what I'm going to start out with is a good cast iron skillet. I'm going to tilt y'all down here and let you see what's going on. So let's go down here to the stove. I'm going to put the cast iron skillet on and I'm going to turn it on medium high heat. And I'm going to put a little butter in there to start with. This is already pre softened. Usually we keep it in the butter um, dish there. But this is just some pre softened butter. And just let it get in here and let it melt up good. This is shepherd's pie. This is what I'm going to do with our leftover pot roast. You can do all kinds of things. Sometimes we have open face sandwiches. Sometimes we just put barbecue on it and have barbecue sandwiches. I already done that once this week with the leftover roast beef. So this shepherd's pie will be warm. It's just 32 degrees right now uh, outside. So this shepherd's pie will be nice and warm and hearty. And we might even have some leftovers. Who knows? Get all this butter going now into this butter. I'm gonna try to do all this live. It's hard to cook a meal live so you can see the finished product. But if I don't get it finished, I will show you a picture. And then we'll put the onions in there in that butter. And these are some carrots that I sliced. These were baby carrots and I sliced them really thin so they won't take long to cook. And this is the roast beef here that I've just uh, cut up into bite-sized pieces and I'm gonna add it in a minute this is a one-pot wonder for me I don't use a bunch of dishes uh, trying to simplify not complicate things so this is just going to be the onions and the carrots make sure I get all them carrots I kind of squeezed everything up a little tight there you get a piece of meat or two in there it ain't gonna hurt with those carrots and those carrots will cook quick because they are thinly sliced you want to put them put them in there and let them uh, get clear the carrot the um, onions will get it clear and the carrots will begin to soften in that butter it's good to hear that sizzle in it let's see what you all are saying it says uh, Glad you're feeling better. God bless. Thank you, Jamie. I'm glad we are too. Hello, Heather. How are you? Just sweating out some onions and, and carrots. I would put celery in here, but I'm not wanting that celery taste in there. If I do want a little celery, I would just add a little bit of celery uh, salt. I'm going to put a little bit of regular salt in here. This is just quite, well, I mean, this is just table salt out of a shaker. I do have the Easy Bake on. It let me get preheated. And I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper. And basically that's it. Mama don't like a lot. And I'm wanting her to eat good. So salt and pepper is the spice of the hour. Let's go back down here to the dish. You can't read comments when I'm letting you see what I'm cooking. But I know... A lot of you'd rather see the dish is to see me talk. We'll talk about comments in just a few minutes. I will try to look at some. So this is just your onions and your carrots. And they're just going to cook down. Give them an opportunity to get good and soft. Now all I've put in here so far has been better. Now I do have a little bit of coffee left here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of coffee for moisture. Where you would add water, I add the coffee. Um, it doesn't change the flavor. It does give it a flavor, but it doesn't taste like coffee. It just helps to steam it down. Uh, we use it in beef all the time. If I'm using a pork roast, this pork roast was cooked in coffee. Uh, but it just adds a little something to it, gives it a little flavor. It doesn't uh, 
make it taste like coffee. I didn't just run it, put it that way. Mama would even tell you, yep, that's the way we do it. But that coffee will help make more steam, help soften those onions and the carrots. It's just going to take a minute to get them. You probably can't see much of that steam going on, can you? That's the name of the game, though. Steam them vegetables up real good. Let's see what y'all are seeing now. Happy Saturday. Hey, Laura, how are you? Looks good. Donna Jean, it is good. Hello from Missouri. You put peas or mixed veggies? I put peas and corn frozen. Um, I always keep a big bag of peas and a big bag of corn in the freezer and I pour out what I want and then I seal it back up and put it back in the freezer. And I've got them right over here on standby, but we want to add them in after these have a chance to soften and get tender. You said coffee's already boiled out. I don't think the carrots have softened. Yep, they have a little bit because I, I sliced them really thin. I sliced them up really thin. This is leftover gravy from the other day and I just mixed it in with the broth from the beef. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of that in there, about half of it. And that's on top of the onions and the carrots. Mmm, it's smelling good. Smelling delicious. I am going to go ahead now and put my uh, roast in there. The roast is fully cooked, of course. We've done eating on it a couple of times. So all I'm doing is just reheating it. I'm making a new creation out of leftovers. Something I love to do. Not big on leftovers. Like, I don't want to eat roast mashed potatoes and green beans till they're gone, but I don't want to waste them. So this is another way of doing the same thing. So we had roast, we had gravy, we had coleslaw. We've done that for a couple of days. I took some of the roast and made sandwiches one day for lunch, and that worked out really well. Just by putting barbecue sauce and eating them on white bread, actually, because didn't have any buns, but it was delicious on white bread. And now, I'm doing a little shepherd's pie. Which is similar to a pot roast or anything like that. And I know there's tons of recipes, tons of varieties. Probably better ways and probably more complicated ways, but I do a simple little mix here. I want it to be simply easy to do. I'm going to cut this down just a little bit. Don't want to burn it. Don't want to scorch the meat or anything. But I've got the onions and the carrots. And now the roast beef. The roast beef is already tender. It's coming about there. I did put a little bit of coffee. Not a whole cut. Probably about four ounces just to give it a little steam and to re-tenderize it just a little bit. You can see that, I hope. This is just onions, carrots, and the roast beef in here. Now I'm going to put the rest of my gravy. This is just leftover gravy from where we had it the other day. I'm doing this in a, I guess a number eight iron skillet is what this is. Now on top of that gravy, these are frozen peas straight out of the freezer, haven't been thawed. Just going to dump them right in there on top. There's a stem. Doing the same thing with just a little bit of frozen corn. I just keep frozen corn and peas in the freezer when I want to make a quick soup. Or something like this. I'm ready to go. Now I'll just tie those back up. Put those right back in the uh, freezer. Just going to give that all a stir in there. And 
Mm, mm, mm. Look at that goodness. That bright yellow, that bright green. Beautiful. That orange. Now all I'm doing is sort of preheating, pre-cooking all these ingredients. I've added a little bit more salt and pepper because I've added a little bit more vegetables. But that's basically it. So this is quick and easy. I'm going to take you down here a little bit closer. Hope you can see that beautiful color and that beautiful meat and that gravy and how delicious. Now, and they are cold. I did not reheat them. The reason I didn't reheat them is I don't want them smoothed out. I want them lumpy. With shepherd's pie, that's one time you do want your potatoes lumpy because you want all those little ridges to gather all that little good brownness. I'm just putting that mashed potatoes right on top. That's the easy bake. Let me know. It's warm and ready to work. So it's still getting covered. And it's still good and it'll still be good. I could have used about another spoonful, but I don't have it, so that's fine too. So that's our mashed potatoes on top of our shepherd's pie. Now, I am going to make sure this rack lower it down there and I'm going to put the shepherd's pie just like that right in to the oven I've got on 425 I'm going to put it on convection and I'm going to set it for 15 minutes turn off the stove I hate to travel with y'all. I know that's blurry and it's aggravating. So I usually try to pause when I'm doing live videos. I mean, when I'm not doing live videos, I try to pause so y'all don't get sick. So, there we are. Now, if y'all want to hang out with me for a few minutes, we will see with the finished product when it browns. And um, if not, I'll take a picture at the very end. Uh, let's see what y'all are saying. Do, do you think you will have devotional in the morning? Charleston, South Carolina. I do hope to. Joanne, I don't see any reason right now why I could not. I would have last week if I'd been this well, uh, but I was just coughing a lot. I felt fine. Never did have a fever. Never did really have any other symptoms. Just sinus coughing and that kind of mess. Uh, your grilled cheese... Um, you grilling cheese on the top. I did have some lazy uh, cheese in the refrigerator. Lazy, I mean uh, some white cheese um, that's already in a bag pre pre uh, grated that I may put a little on top whenever I take it out. Uh, Jamie, you want to order Tupperware? We do have a Tupperware link, and our everything we do for Tupperware is direct order, direct ship, direct pay. We don't take care of any of that. But you just go to Mama's link and you can go on the page and you can order anything. And they will directly uh, take your order and it will ship out immediately. That's the wonderful thing. You don't have to wait for us to get a party together but then send it in. It's the day you order. Today is when it starts processing. Diane, you're hungry? Try a little bit of shepherd's pie. Um, you know, you can buy canned meat to make it. I have heard of people doing that before. If you don't already have a roast already made, you can do it with canned chicken. I've heard it made with chicken. Um, sweet potatoes would be good on top. Yes, it would. Uh, if you whipped them, yes, it would, Melody. Uh, Melinda, it would be very good. Uh, love seeing you cook. Thank you, Kim. Love being able to go back in the kitchen and cook a little bit. I've been cooking, but I've not been cooking um you know i've been cooking soups and just trying to keep mama something to eat not cooked anything that's like homemade or casserole or mm -mm, goodness so uh we're ready to get back to cooking i'm ready to start spring cooking i'm ready for um vegetables in the garden i know i'm a little bit I'm a little bit ahead of myself um 
I did make a vegetable soup that I didn't show, and I did make something else I made that we didn't film this week. We don't do much cooking without y'all. About everything we cook, you all get to see. Hello, John Shepherd's pie it looks so good. Um, oh, is your car stuck, Janet? Oh no. How do I get the Etsy link? It's on the the live we just done, Pam. We just I just put it on the bottom in the comments of the Etsy link, and I will put it on the bottom of this one in comments as soon as I uh, as soon as we get finished here. I don't think I can add them now. Um, thank you, Kim. I am looking. Uh, thank you, Sam. I look well. I'm feeling well. I'm ready to get started doing something. Tell Mom I sent. Uh, Ten minutes and some fried apple pies. When she said yes, Angela, ten million hands. That was a good vote. Thank you. I asked earlier for a hands up for fried apple pies. Well, she must have took our word for it because she did fry the pies. Uh, no, she did fry the apples to get ready for the pies. Uh, so uh, she bagged up some and we put them in the freezer raw. And we'll use those for another day. But she did save a big old platter of them over here. I can I can show them to you. She's already fried them up. Look here. Now, two things can happen to these apples. She can bowl them up, put them in a Tupperware bowl, and put them in the refrigerator and save them a few days. Or she might bag these up and freeze these cooked ones as well. She's done that before. But I'm thinking, if she feels like it, maybe in the near future, there will be a few apple pies uh, made out of those apples. And maybe some for breakfast, too. I may be a good son make some homemade biscuits and gravy and have uh, homemade biscuits and gravy and apples. Don't hold me to that. Um, as I said, you know, I'm going to definitely try to do Sunday School Highlights. I miss it terribly when we don't do it. I love that time to get with y'all. And uh, I just hope that we can do that in the morning. I don't see any reason we can't. Um, meatloaf the other day and it was good. Becky, did you like it? Um, the meatloaf, we make meatloaf so many different ways. Uh, Tracy went to our page and ordered uh, the bun. I, I can't see what you said. It went away. But it's on the Etsy and the bundles are on there. I think is what you were saying. I hope that's what you were saying. Okay, yes, yeah, showing it is a set and it has the right price. Thank you, Teresa. Um, let's shepherd pie with grand hamburger meat. Yes, I do like it with hamburger meat too. Um, in fact, if I'm going to just make shepherd's pie, I will always use uh, ground chuck because uh, it's really my favorite way. But when you got roast beef or something left over, it's a good way of salvaging a good leftover without having to waste anything. I'm always down for biscuits and gravy. Joanne, I am too. I love biscuits and gravy. They're not really good for you, they say, but uh, I do like to like them, and I like to make them. Oh, fried apple pies, mm, Kim, yeah, they're delicious. Mama's going to make us some cherry pies, too. Um, maybe with cherry filling. We don't have any fresh cherries right now, but, uh, you know, that'd have to be good. You can take any kind of pie filling and make delicious uh, fried pies. Freezing rain here in Ohio for 18 hours, followed by snow. Is that going on now, Papa? I thought y'all had that mess already. Have y'all got more? 18 hours followed by snow. Oh, no. Pray for those folks. <clears throat> I made Mama's chocolate pie, and my husband ate both warm. I love the warm pie, Paula. Mama makes the best chocolate pies. She makes good anything. Where's Mama Jim? She is just... Really, I don't know. I think she's in her bedroom, uh, either on her iPad or watching TV. She made all these apples. She said, I'm going in here for a little while. I said, I'm making shepherd pie. I'll holler at you when it's done. So as soon as it gets done, I'll holler at her and she can come and eat. Um, you're so sweet to your mom. Oh, Kim, she's sweet to me. Uh, we take care of each other. We really do, especially this week. I told her, I said, tag your it. Uh, last Saturday, I was just didn't feel like doing anything. And uh, Sunday as well, and she cooked and carried on. But she was feeling a little better that day. I think she overdone it. I told her, I said, Mama, don't overdo it. She said, I'm feeling fine. Then Monday, when we went back to the doctor, I said, you need some more rest and more fluids. You're, you need to slow down a little bit. So, Sunny and beautiful in Naples, Florida. <coughs> Excuse me. 
sunny and beautiful. It's sunny and beautiful here. It's just cold. I made homemade biscuits and gravy this morning and big spaghetti. Dinner with meat piles yesterday. We, oh, Sharon. It, that sounds wonderful. I love spaghetti and I love spaghetti meatballs. We love that. I love Mama's goulash. I told her that. I said, you want goulash or shepherd's pie? And uh, she said, I guess we better do shepherd's pie and get rid of that roast. I said, okay. So that's what we did. It's been in there um, six minutes. So it's got a few more minutes to go. And the top will be bubbly brown. That's what you're looking for. Now that's one reason I want to cook everything in the iron skillet. Heat everything. The onions, the carrots. Everything is hot and ready to go. So all we have to do now is wait for those mashed potatoes just to get a good golden brown on them. I don't have them on broil. I have them on convection. And uh, going to let them bake a little bit and that'll be it'll settle in pretty good. It's just a hearty meal shepherd's pie is. Uh, I'm sure y'all know Basically, it's just, you know, stew with mashed potatoes on top. Uh, you're making me hungrier than a bear. Well, Kat, um, it does that to me, too. Anytime I watch any videos or anything, I'm like, oh, I'm hungry. That looks so good. Uh, roast for shepherd's pie. That's different. Barbara, it is. It's, it's just different. But we, we make it with different meats. That's the reason I said it's probably a little different than what other people have. But... Um, if I'm just going to start from scratch and think, I want a good shepherd's pie, then I will use hamburger meat, though. Um, is, that Mag is that Maggie tiptoeing? Uh, yes. <laughs> Maggie tiptoes around and around and around and up and down and bounces. And her little toenails on this hardwood floor, She, you know she's in town. You know she's here. Sometimes she gets so excited. And I said, Maggie, honey, just calm down. Calm down. Cause she gets to bouncing and happy. Get mama some pomegranate juice. Would that help with coughs? I know um, pineapple juice does. Uh, um, what do you eat for sides with shepherd's pie, Tina? We don't. It's just all in there. We just have um, just the meat and the gravy and the peas and the corn and the carrots and the, it's just all. It's just like a soup. Um, Aunt Donna, Mama's lucky to have me. I'm lucky to have her. I'm blessed. The Lord has blessed me with a wonderful parents, wonderful Mama. Uh, um, let's see here. Let's see. I'm trying to read. It's going too fast. The only way I can comment is on someone's reply. Hmm. Surely, wonder why. I should be able to. My nickname, Barbara Maggie. Ah, how sweet. We're eating light today. Tuna salad. I love tuna fish salad. In the summer, that's one of my go to lunches. It's just tuna fish salad, crackers, and a, and a uh, sweet pickle. Love that. I love bologna, cheese, and crackers and sweet pickles for supper sometimes. In the summer, you know, when it's just hot, you just want to eat something. Just had pizza, but love shepherd's pie too. Um, You've never eaten shepherd's pie, Darlene Harris. It's um, it's a casserole, I guess you would call it. Um, we have it a lot of times for leftovers. A lot of times we have chopped beef steak or something. I'll crumble that meat up, refry it, and make it shepherd's pie out of it. Uh, if we have, like, you know, I've made it with roast for more than one occasion just because it's, you have the meat, you have the veggies, you might as well put them in shepherd's pie. They've been added green beans. If we had the green beans left over. Um, put them in there. Um, I make a similar something to this sometimes with roast beef um, with uh, white cheese and green peppers and make a uh, almost like a Philly steak sandwich shepherd's pie without the mashed potatoes. Just sort of bake it into a casserole and then add cheese on top. And um, So sometimes we just mix it up anyhow. Anyway. Tuna casserole here. Carol, Mama don't like tuna casserole, so I don't ever fix it. Maybe have rice with meatloaf. Oh, yeah, that's good. Um, 
she counts Barbara says she counts her deviled eggs angel eggs uh, what would you put in it if you didn't have the leftover gravy uh, you can make gravy with a packet or I would just add some uh, bouillon just something anything to have a little bit of you know a, a gravy I just add bouillon and hot water I use better than bouillon that and it comes in a jar or I'll use a couple of cubes of bouillon and uh, hot water cottage pie is made with beef so cottage pie shepherd's pie there's different yeah um, awesome stew over rice mm, I love red beans and rice I love um, beef stew over rice that is good um, love shepherd's pie so glad you both are feeling better I am too thank you Joyce hey Gwen how are you Oh, yeah, it would be good over baked potatoes. Uh, we do that a lot of times with chili. I'll have chili a day, and then maybe we'll start out with pinto beans, turn that into chili. Then from chili, we'll pour it over baked, bean, or baked potatoes one day. Uh, we love chili baked potatoes. I don't know if the shepherd's pie. We're down to one minute to go, so let's go over here and check our pie and see what it's looking like. I'll take you out with me, just in case. Let's see what it looks like in the oven. As you can see, it's not quite ready. Can y'all see? But it is bubbling. Look at that. But it still needs to brown. We're starting to get a little brown tips on the potatoes. Let's give it about three more minutes. Let it work its magic. See what we got going in three minutes. I'd like to let y'all see the finished product. That's the only thing I don't like about trying to cook with a live is trying to space out the time. But I did think cooking it this way today, put in the oven would be a pretty good fix because it's not going to take too long, I don't think. That's going to brown up. Hello, Peggy Sergeant. How are you? I'm sure it's going to be delicious, Barbara. I hope so. Where is your coffee? Right here, Patty. It's not too far away ever. Mmm. I did try to, when I wasn't feeling as well, cut back on the coffee and drink a little bit more hot teas. Um, but I had it every day anyway. Could you describe the pineapple juice you use from plastic jar, frozen, etc.? The I use a can of it, you know, like the dole or a jar of it. Uh, sometimes if I don't have any other for the cough, is what you're talking about. Um, or you can buy fresh pineapple and and use it uh, in a blender and make your own juices from it. Um, it's just good for that cough. You don't want to suppress the cough though too much. You want your body's telling you you need to cough, but you want a little relief from your cough. I think the pineapple juice works a little bit better than the um, some of the over-the-counter cough medicines. Uh, don't like tuna casserole either, Debbie. Mama don't like any kind of fish really, and she sure don't like hot fish and macaroni uh, and cheeses. Now I will eat it. Um, tuna salad is a little different. It's cold. She will eat it. Um, but just the idea of any kind of fish hot in a casserole, mama don't want it. Uh, so we don't ever have it. Uh, I know tuna casserole is a staple in America. Uh, a lot of people have it. I used to eat it. Some of my aunts made it. Different people had it. But when I was a kid, and I like it. I love pinto beans with kibasa over rice. Oh, genie. That is one of my favorites is pinto beans. You just can't make me much happier than a good old pound of cornbread, some onion, and um, some pinto beans. It's delicious. Um, and we, I can eat that for a couple of days. Uh, let's see here. What's going on? I don't know. I think somebody might have said something. Uh, praying for Mama. Thank you, Karen. Keep it up. Um, I 
jump. We're not on any certain times. Uh, we don't have a schedule. Um, I can't tell you an exact time. We've been on twice today. Um, I like to come on every day if we can at all. I like to, uh, you know, do at least one live a day. And that's Maggie ticking through. Um, but we don't keep a schedule. We don't try to... Um, we're just us. Whatever we do, we do. And if, if we're getting ready to do something, we might say, hey, you want to do a live and, and invite our friends? And Mom will say, sure. And uh, we do. So if we're cooking, whatever time we are, I mean, like today, this is early. This is 425 for supper. That's early for us. But uh, sometimes we do early. Sometimes we do a little later. So we just try to keep it real, whatever we're doing. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, we're starting to get it, but it still needs some more brown. I'm going to take my chances and I'm going to switch it up to broil. I don't normally use broil because I'm not good at broil. I try to I try to broil things. And then I get all sideways and forget and start chasing rabbits. And then you got burnt something instead of broiled something. I better put my corn and peas up. So I'll have them for the next adventure. I just keep them in the freezer. Put a, either I put them in a bowl, a Tupperware freezer bowl, or I'll just leave them in the bag depending on when I want to use them. Put them back in the freezer and I'll have them. Run over there. You gotta watch that for me. I'll be right back. Remember, it's on parole. So we'll have to watch it closely. It's bubbling. But it's not turning any browner. And that's what I'm waiting on is that beautiful brown mashed potatoes because that's the whole point of the um that's the whole point of the shepherd's pies having those brown mashed potatoes on top makes it yummy y'all hang out right there and we will um look in here again because it's about time to take a peek because once you're brawling you don't want you don't want to let it burn And it will, in a heartbeat. This is where I empty those bowls. It's starting to brown. Hey, Mama? You ready for supper? You guess maybe? Shepherd's pie. Well, folks, nothing like a watch pot, but it's browning. It's just going to take it a minute. We're getting there slowly, but surely. Let's see what y'all are saying here. Sure, y'all aren't eating much after you had COVID. Everything didn't taste so good yet. I've heard that... Um, one of my friends told me the other day they couldn't drink coffee after COVID. And I thought, oh man, I sure hope I'm not ever afflicted with that. I don't know what I mean. Coffee's a big part of what I do, so I don't know. What do you do if you can't drink coffee once you drink coffee all day, every day? I would have to learn to drink it. <laughs> I'd have to say, well, I'm going to learn how to drink whatever it tastes like. Mama, I'm waiting for it to brown. You are. I've got it on broil. <clears throat> and I'm not taking my eyes off from it because I figured it would burn right before my eyes. What do you think? I showed him your apples. I told him you was probably in the mood for some apple pies.
already. You ain't gonna do them today, are you? No. No, you've done good today, Mama. You've been out and about, running around here. Well, you've been out, but you've been in the house. Let's check it. Oh, it's getting there. I want it to be just a little bit brighter, though. I want it to be just a little bit browner. You know, there's a fine line between burnt and golden brown. Sometimes I find the line and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I feel around and I let it get too golden brown. Don't know, Mama. Yeah, but when you get it too, I've learned on some of those shows, they'll say, look how pretty. It's <laughs> like I like it. <laughs> Mama always thinks it's funny on those cooking networks where they burn something up and they'll say, just perfect. I want it to be just a little bit browner, but I don't want it to burn. And it don't seem to be brown. Could this be an issue of patience, Mama? It could be. You fan the door so much. You fan the door so much, she said. No wonder it won't brown. Okay, it says... Um, After having covered, well, I think I froze y'all up. Holy go. Evidently. I freeze y'all up when I touch it. I did. I do that sometimes. Okay, now you're on the move again. Good. Um, hi, Mama. Glad you're feeling better, Lois. Thank you. Same with me. Drinking Dr. Pepper to ginger ale. Oh, Cheryl, you don't like Dr. Pepper after you had COVID? Wow. I knew people was having trouble with taste and smell during, but I didn't know it was affecting the after as much. So like after you get over it even, you don't go back to liking it? It's bubbling, it's bubbling. Now let's see, come on, let's. Let's brown up little taters. They're getting brown. And I'm on broil. Mom, you think this is brown enough? You want to look at it? It's brown enough to suit you. Mom says it's brown enough. What do y'all think? I think it's okay. It's delicious it's looking. Got the crust on it. It's got a good crust, Mama said. And it's only got 33 more seconds. Let's see. I'll take it over to the... What do y'all think? You think that's brown enough? We're going to go with it. Mama? What do you think? It looks good. I'll let you talk to him. I'll give us a bow. You want a bow or a plate? Just a plate? Anything that doesn't matter. It looks good. It's got the crust on it. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to turn that off. It's off. I'll do that turn. It's Did it not go off, Mama? Sorry for traveling with y'all so much tonight. Or well, tonight, it's not tonight, it's still daytime. It's early lunch, early supper. Get that um, wooden thing up there and I'll dip the chips on. 
Okay, folks, here it is. Shepherd's pie, my way. Now, granted, I always tell y'all, it's just whatever we do. It's not necessarily the right way. It's just our way. And this is just shepherd's pie made from leftover pot roast in an iron skillet. And there it is. To be honest with you, I snuck some apples and I think I'm about full. But this will eat. This will be a new set of leftovers. Oh. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright, Mama, come over here and let's bless this wonderful meal. These wonderful leftovers. Good. Well, that's good. If it smells good, that's half the victory. Yeah. Let's bless it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. Dear Lord, we need to bless it for the nourishment of our body. Dear Lord, and be with each and every prayer request that's out there. Dear Lord, be with each and every person who's struggling from illness and other problems. And we just pray that you'll always lead, guide, and direct us in your precious name. We pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, Mom, I'm going to let you <coughs> try it. I can't get the camera where it normally is or something we're too far apart maybe i don't know what we're doing mm -hmm. wrong all right there we go we can see you can you see us yeah. i'm gonna give it a try now there's all the veggies the mashed potatoes could have been a little browner but you all see me wait for all that time and it just sort of mm. didn't brown up i warn you it's a little warm mm. heat warm it's delicious. The sauteed onions in there and the carrots gave it a little something different. It's like a good shepherd's pie. Mm -hmm. I probably like it better with hamburger meat than I do. But when you've got a big old roast left over, let's use it and not waste it. Mmm. What do you think, Mama? Very good, tasty. Good and hearty for a cold day, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The peas are good, the corn's good. We didn't have peas or corn with our original meal, so this is an extra added little touch. I'd say the shepherds would approve out on the plains. I'm assuming that's how it got its name. I need to look that up. You think a bunch of shepherds make it? Well, it's kind of like a, what they call Burnswick stew or a, a pot of leftovers. <clears throat> this is good. Give it a try. <clears throat> I would recommend it. We've made it before. And I'll make it again. <clears throat> it's good. And it's good for you. I guess that's all we have. Mama, you have anything else? No. Uh, uh, <coughs> no. <clears throat> Are you choking up, Mama? It's just, yeah, when it gets later in the evening, it gets, I can tell a difference. I think you need more water, Mama. I think I do, too. <laughs> well, let's close this out, and I'll go get you a water. Oh, that's all right. I've got one in here, I think. I'll get you one. All right, folks, we're going to say goodbye, and we're going to say find you something good to eat. This is our version of shepherd's pie, or someone said cottage pie. Um, it's leftover. Leftover pie with wonderful mashed potatoes on top is what I call it. And you all uh, find you something good to eat, make you some memories, and um, say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama, and God bless you all. <coughs> You'll have a good one. <coughs> Excuse me.